advanced fibrosis due to NASH can be diagnosed via multiple methods. The conventional way is a liver biopsy. We have known this method for many, many years. Uh, many pathologists are comfortable with it and can see the disease from F0 to F4, F0 having no fibrosis and F4 being cirrhosis. Advanced fibrosis, as you know, start around the F2, F3s and goes to the F4, which actually has been associated with morbidities and mortalities with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Nevertheless, given the prevalence of the disease, people have been actively researching for new tools that can test the patients non-invasively. Some of these tools are imaging tools, such as transient allostography and MR allostography, and there are tons of research that have been done on those and show that they can stage the fibrosis very accurately. There are also other non-invasive biomarkers that they're serum-based, and the uh, American Association of Liver Disease Guidelines endorse both FIB4 and NAFL fibrosis core both of which are formulas that they rely on simple tests, such as ALT, AST, age, platelet count, and one of them relies on diabetes status. There are also other new promising biomarkers that they're serum-based as well that are gonna be um, used in the future, and there's tons of research on that as well. The standard for, ad for diagnosing advanced fibrosis in some people's mind, is liver biopsy. The problem is that it is extremely expensive, it has some risks, it's inconvenient, uh, and not something you can do repeatedly. So we have, uh, I think most people have moved towards non-invasive testing, uh, usually uh, as of usually using elastography. And so there are several techniques that allow you to measure elastography. That is, it measures liver stiffness. There is a fairly good correlation between the amount of fibrosis and how stiff the liver is. And we measure stiffness using either ultrasound, so a, uh, a specific device that is, uh, that's designed just for doing that, and that's called Vibration Controlled Transient Elastography. The company that makes that is known as uh, EchoSense, and that is loosely, uh, that has become standard uh, in many practices, and that's called FibroScan. There are other techniques for measuring liver stiffness, so some ultrasound machines allow you to measure liver stiffness using the same physics but a slightly different technique. Uh, and then in some research centers, we're able to do magnetic resonance elastography, or MRE. That is thought to be the best, but honestly very difficult to get because not available everywhere expensive and time-consuming. To diagnose advanced fibrosis due to NASH in my practice, um, we are screening a lot of people that have risk factors for NASH, as I mentioned before. Um, NASH can be pretty silent. So what we're, when we're talking about diagnosing NASH, we're really talking about diagnosing fatty liver and then assume maybe people have NASH because to diagnose NASH, you really need a liver biopsy. That's the gold standard because it's a pathology diagnosis. In terms of diagnostic tools, uh, liver biopsy tends to be, you know, a little bit more invasive, and it tends to be a little bit more costly compared to other things that we could do. Even though it is the gold standard to diagnose NASH, um, we have now tools that we can use to diagnose fibrosis that do not include a liver biopsy. Um, we have non-invasive testing through blood work through uh, machines that include a transient elastography or what we call the fiber scan, and even MRIs with elastography.